All right, I'm gonna do some pin rod pan fishing. Oh, there's a bite there. Kind of hard to set the hook on this thing. Cichlids and stuff down here for sure. Cichlids and tilapia don't usually go after skinny sankos, but sunfish do. Like uh, bluegill, green sunfish, stuff like that, bass. There we go. It's not a sunfish, not a panfish. But there we go. Little bitty bass. Right in the side of the mouth. There we go. Good looking little fish. Got another one. This one's a bigger bass. Oh, damn, that sucked. I had a that was that one was at least pound and a half. He slipped off the hook because I couldn't get him up over the over the roots there. And that is where a longer rod comes into play. I man, that was. That was a pound and a half, almost two pounds probably. Maybe not two pounds, it was, it was a baby bass there. All right, let me tie on my longer rod. Rod is technically not a pin rod, but it is a telescopic, just like the pin rod. And I did carry them both over here in the same package, or in the same bag, so. There we go. Got a bass. Man, these bass are hungry. Alright, another little bass. Off he goes. There we go. Oh, that's a good one. Oh. Eh, not as good as I thought he was, but it's the best one so far today. Oh, and he snapped. Come on. Weird hook set. All right, decent one pounder. He was right under that tree over there. I mean, that's like four fish already, and they've all been bass. And I'm not even trying to catch bass, but look, there's a snapping turtle right there. That's uh, it's moving. I don't know if you can see him or not. That's a smaller one than the one I saw earlier, too. getting real windy like a storm's coming in so it's getting pretty dark it's a little early to be this dark there's a snapping turtle again I think he's over here chasing my lure or the fish that I released Before it gets too dark, I'm going to go down and try another spot. 
It's definitely storm clouds moving in the area, rain clouds anyway. It's real windy. And I've been caught in a flood at this on this park before, so. Okay, I normally wouldn't even try to fish this little spot because it's pretty steep. But I see from here it looks like a two-pounder. So I'll see if that's interested in anything over here. There we go, got him. Oh, it's, it's a good fish. But it's a, yep. Man, they are just choking this stuff today. That's a, not a very long one, but that's a chunk. That is right at two pounds. This is a good fish. This is the best one for the day. I think I'm gonna get a picture of this one. I'm just, I'm, I started off trying to do sunfish, but now I'm sight fishing for whatever I can get. All right, let's let this big girl go. There she goes. Started off just trying to pan fish for, you know, sunfish, small stuff. But it ended up being a pretty decent day for bass. And I can see another one right there. It's under these pads. It's also some good sized sunfish down there. But... Oh, he's moving over here now. Man. It's starting to rain. It's super windy. I don't know where this fish went, he disappeared. It feels like it's starting to rain. I'm getting splashed, sprayed with water. All right, before it gets too much worse, move on, try a couple different spots like right here. There we go. Ah, right off the edge of the bank. This one's a little heavy one too, fat. This one's about a pound and a half. I don't want to tear up his jaw, so I'm trying to crimp off the barb. Should do it. There we go. And now I hook myself with the finger. Another little chunk. These fish are not very long, but they got some weight to them. This one's probably a pound and a half. Now, I mean, none of these fish have been like spectacularly big, but I mean, for this park, I've never caught this many that size and up out of this park before. Yeah, I'm kind of excited about this. I mean, I used to fish this place all the time, and then for a long time, there just wasn't anything. And then now, all of a sudden, I'm getting a, a good, solid amount of solid, healthy fish. That's, that's just really really good i mean they're not they're not huge but i mean the biggest i pulled out of this area was two pounds and that was way down at the other end so i've already hit 
a pound and a half twice today and a two pounder once so I mean that's it's a really good sign for this area so, yeah these these fish are not very big but they're healthy and they're fat so I mean that I, I used to catch nothing but skinny ones out of here so something happened it's definitely drizzling over here out away from the trees I can see all the specks hitting the water now this little bend right here it gets pretty well one of the deepest areas in the, this section and I've seen some pretty decent sized fish here now the rain is definitely starting to pick up I don't want to quit fishing because the sun's still out so of course it's going to start raining right now huh Now this area definitely floods really easy because there's no flood control on that end. Well, I guess I should go seek some shelter.